Hi. In this short little segment, we're going to address the question that we get sometimes, which is, uh, why don't I leave the logs out on the endpoint? Why should I centralize them at all in the first place? There's a few of these other products out there that will help me to avoid collecting those logs or reduce the number of logs that I get by leaving them on the endpoint. And uh, that is a very simple uh, question to answer, one that we've sort of had solved uh, for a long time. And there's really two main reasons. Uh, the number one is if you have a system that's locked up because it crashes or there's an infinite loop in a custom application or something like that, then it's no longer responsive and you can't ask it for the logs. Uh, and you hope that maybe if you restart it or uh, or something that the logs will be there when it comes back, but that's not always a guarantee, especially you want to get crash dumps, you want to get stuff like that out of the system. And so streaming the logs out as it's running constantly helps you to do the root cause analysis because you've got the information. The second is really a computer security a question because if this machine here becomes attacker controlled, uh, I can no longer trust the information coming out of it. I can't ask it after the fact and say, who logged into you? Who else have you been speaking with, etc. I need those information streaming out so that from the point that the attacker hit the system and previous, I have true data available for my analysts. As security data lakes are getting more popular, we often get asked, what even is that? Uh, what's the point of it? Why are organizations using them? What are they for? Uh, well, security data lakes are uh, a different way of, of collecting data, a data lake in general. Uh, the, the idea is sort of in the name. We go from a data warehouse where data has to meet certain requirements, certain sizes, so that it fits up on the shelf and fits in with the other data. But with the data lake, you just pour it in and it's available for you when you need it uh, as you go out there to uh, spend time in the lake and get the information that you need. And that has some really important uh, connotations for when we're collecting the data. Because if you're putting it in a warehouse, it has to meet certain requirements and has to sit. And for something like Syslog, as an example, as a data source, now a lot of the systems that send Syslog don't actually follow the spec. They don't meet RFC 5424. Uh, and so when those things come into the data warehouse, it looks like uh, they're not gonna fit. Uh, but if you have a data lake, then you can dump that data in. And also data lakes are, are built to be more massively scale. It's, it's a modern uh, application for large scale data analysis and collection. And so the reason that organizations adopt a security data lake is so that they can have a central repository uh, a lake where they can pour in the logs without having to do a bunch of upfront work to worry about them and where they know that they're going to be safe for the long term in case they need to do investigation or conduct some interesting data science alongside of them or anything like that. And then uh, typically you'll have a sim uh, which will sit out here and then the data lake through some data science to do things like statistical analysis or, or machine learning applications to pull out only the important logs. Uh, and send those to the SIM for analysis, often to reduce costs and because SIMs uh, will often build based on how many logs enter the system uh, as well. But it enables organizations to both have, have the SIM and all the benefits that they get from that, but also have the data lake with all the raw information available for when they need to conduct the investigations and do the root cause analysis. And so having a data lake up front actually ends up paying for itself because you're reducing the amount of logs that you're putting into your SIM, you're providing an, an alternate place uh, where your analysts can do really interesting and complicated analysis to get even more benefit out of the data uh, when you start crunching it uh, for things. So it's gonna be something that we see a lot more in the industry as it gets adopted uh, widely and as, as people are sort of maturing their uh, approach to data in the cybersecurity field.